welcome to my channel Aquarius. I hope you're feeling really good today. I really want to thank my subscribers. Thank you so much for doing that. Please make comments though. I appreciate that also. So what do Aquarius need to know today? On the mental and emotional level, first do mental and then we'll do emotional, okay? So what do Aquarians need to know today? What do Aquarians need to know today? Aquarians need to know today. What do Aquarians need to know today? What do Aquarians need to know today? Let's see what our subconscious is trying to say to us. Or you. Uh -huh. Right, okay. So, the Seven of Wands. This is about protecting your thoughts. What thoughts are coming in that you need protecting? Maybe this bombardment of stuff and knowledge and what's going on. So what is going on is a kind of protection, being in control of your mind. Thoughts from the past, thoughts of the future. But when all we need is to concentrate on today, now, because that's how we're going to progress. We're not going to have these annoying little thoughts saying you can't do something, we're not good enough, it hasn't happened before, why is it going to happen now, kind of thing. So this signifies that you're going to be in control. You're going to take charge, take the rein and see what's going on. So maybe one of these decisions that you have to make is how you're going to grow self-love, love in general. Sometimes this is about finding a whole sea of opportunity lots of opportunities coming in today picking one and focusing on it whether it's spirituality new love starting a new family new career new hobbies things like that but what is clear is that you're in charge to be able to look and focus on this to make a decision also you have the empress so for some of you maybe the thought of being a mother a father a caregiver are you are you thinking that what's happened around us is so miraculous that caring for someone else is a life's calling one has to really care for themselves so thinking about nurturing yourself first will bring great rewards so Aquarians what how are we feeling today <laughs> subconsciously because uh, have you ever discovered um, a pain in your body that we hold on so tight on tension or something like that and it's these feelings that are stagnant in our bodies we need to release them don't we so this is why it's always good subconsciously to see how we're feeling so what do aquarians need to know you think i could shuffle by now so what does it It's easy to say it in your head, really. So, Aquarians, seeing a vision for a new future is definitely an aspect of feeling. How do I feel? How do you feel about the future? Hopefully, you can look at it on an aspect where you're not clouded by other people's decision-making skills having a look at the newness and being able to nurture your heart, your vision. So you may know that when you've got this vision of the future for yourself in a positive light, sharing it with people who are going to interfere and say, no, you can't do that. Why, why would you want to do that? That's not for you. You've never done that before. Protect your vision. Protect that vision. 
and nurture it, make it grow on a level that is going to aspire to greater things. You can see if one of the decisions was having a new romance, this might be very close to your heart at the moment. This is a very passive, gentle aspect. Self-love is definitely here. The healing that needs to take place within you is definitely here. Aquarians, what else? So, for those of you who are interested in romance, there's a king of um, swords being reflected from you out there so they can come back to you. So, the intelligence and the talkative side of yourself to reflect what you do want to come into your life will be reflected outwards. So if you put intention and love in your situation that you want to grow, nurture it and it'll come forth. Let's see Aquarians what's really going on with the moon. The moon will show us the stage that we're at and a little bit more clarity in what we need to know today. So Aquarians, let's have a look. Step out of your comfort zone, it's the North Node. So stepping out of your comfort zone is quite good. However, however, you have to nurture yourself to do this. It's like if you've never done a bungee jump before, that's a wrong analogy. <laughs> If you've never climbed Mount Everest before, you have to learn the steps. So yeah, getting out of your comfort zone, seeing the new vision, but you can't, you can't battle something if you haven't got the expertise. So the expertise needs to be here. It's a gentle process, but yes, stepping out, but not, not fully saying, yeah, I can climb Mount Everest today and it's the depth of winter and you've never done that do you understand so nurture yourself communicate with yourself but yeah step out of your comfort zone to be able to get this vision but it's not an action it's definitely not action today it's about planning feeling it but being gentle with it maybe some of those thoughts oh i've never thought about doing that before hmm could i do that nurture the idea and play with it and then see what magic happens. Enjoy your day, Aquarians. See you again. Lots of love.